Today we got some Trader Joe's dough and we split it in half so that we could make two pizzas on the Uni 12. Today we made an onion garlic pizza. This is a small one. This is like a 12 inch pizza because it's going in the 12 inch Uni. So this is ready. I'm gonna leave it on the parchment paper for the first little bit. This is what I would recommend if you're a beginner because if you put too much flour on the bottom, it's kind of, um, it can get stuck if you don't know what you're doing. So I recommend, till you're really good, use the parchment paper. Now I've only made about a thousand pizzas, so. We're gonna be using the Uni 12 inch. We gotta get it up to a warm enough temperature so that it'll cook the pizza good. But then we're gonna turn it down so we got it at, let's, let's say that we got, see up front it's a little cooler and in the back it's like 600. We really want it to be a little bit more. We're gonna let it heat up a little more and then we're going to see if it works. So it's, it's reading just over, just about six. 600 right in the middle, hotter towards the end. That should make a good pizza. Make sure that you have this pizza turner if you're gonna use this a pizza oven because if you don't turn your pizza like this, it's gonna burn. Okay, pizza is going into the oven. We're gonna just slide it right in there, right in, right in the middle so that, so that we don't really burn it right away. I'm gonna let it get a little crispy and then I'll take it off the parchment paper. Pizza is starting to melt. It's been like 30 seconds. We did a little turning like this. Ooh. If they had a rotator that you could stick in there, that would help. See how it's already crunching that? I turn the heat down on the back all the way down all the way down right now because we're learning. So it's getting to a good uh, doneness. Um, it's sort of raw still, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off the parchment paper so that it can cook the bottom. So the best way to do that is get underneath it with something. I'll show you this is this is ha half time it looks good but it's still a little raw so we got it in there without the parchment paper gonna crisp up the dough a little I smell it it smells delicious Starting to boil on top, so you can tell that it's uh, it's gonna be good soon. A little needs a little more on that. So there we go. It came out pretty good. It's a little bit, a little bit underdone on the bottom. I guess I'm not. I don't have that. It hasn't warmed up enough. The next pizza is gonna be pretty perfect. This is how it turned out. This is what it looks like. It could have been crunchier on the bottom. It would have uh, I'm sure rather had the uh, heat up to 700 on the bottom before because 600 was not quite enough. 